this Texel Ram has just fetched £37,000 at auction. With an afternoon's wage like that, it's clear to see how for sheep breeders and farmers, events like this are the lifeblood of their industry. So when Kelso Ram Sales, coined as Europe's biggest one-day sheep sale, was cancelled, it was a worrying prospect. It was a huge blow to the sheep farming world, and well, right across the UK, really. I mean, the Scottish Borders has hosted at Kelso, uh, Kelso Ram Sales for all these years, and, and, it, and it's, a, it's a huge focal point for, for the farming community at that time. I think we all struggled to work out how it was all going to work. Um, I mean, it's the, the, just five to six thousand rams in one place. So bringing those people together on one day under the present circumstances just wasn't real, you know, wasn't going to work. Buyers and sellers still needed a way to do business, and an alternative was sought in a bid to reduce crowds and adhere to government guidance. With thousands of rams still to be traded, a series of smaller sales are being held in its place, and when in the auction ring, there are strict guidelines to follow. Here in Scotland, people must remain two metres apart, but in England, it's one metre. Face masks must be worn inside the auction ring, and only those there to do business are allowed in. Kelso Ram sales would usually attract around six to 7,000 people. Here in St Boswell's, around 200 trickled in and out throughout the day. I think it's been well handled today. Um, obviously, the sheep I wanted were in nice and quick, so I bought up and I'm, I'm not going to hang about like I would normally do, so I'm just going to head straight back home. Yeah, but I mean, obviously, we missed the Kelso sales because obviously, you know, my wife would be there, we probably have the grandchildren maybe possibly with us as well. And just meeting everybody in a normal way, you know, that's a big miss this year. From working with the farmers, there was the usual kind of basically five stages of grief. There was the sort of panic, there was the sort of anger, the sort of all that sort of thing. And then there was a the sort of, right, OK, well, what are we going to do? And, you know, people made decisions and just got around the problem. It's not, it doesn't have the same buzz as what it would have, but the job's being done. At the end of the week, there will be similar auctions held in Carlisle, Lockerbie and Wooler. Those here say the industry's managed to stay strong despite the pandemic, but hope socially distanced sales don't become a permanent fixture. Claire McNeil, ITV News, St Boswells.